Hey guys, it's John from Nomad Nesters, and we get a lot of questions about our internet connectivity. So I wanted to do a real quick video today on Starlink setup, because Starlink for us is a key part by, of our connectivity. We have a couple of other options, but Starnet, Starlink is the key one. So first, just wanted to say, here's what we have for our Starlink setup. I store it in this Husky tote. Uh, you can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's or even Amazon, and in, it's waterproof. Um, inside is our cable, the router, and then underneath the towel is the actual dish itself. So the first thing that I like to do is whenever we get to a site, we look to see where the northern sky is because you need a clear, unobstructed view of the northern sky. And here in Tucson, Arizona, it happens to be at the very back of the RV. Uh, unobstructed view. So what I first like to do is I like to take the dish and take it and set it up at the location where I'm going to place it so that I'll know how much cable I have to run all the way back to the router, which I'll show you how we connect that. So first we'll just run this uh, dish back. In order to set it up in the stand, it just clicks in. It's simple and easy. There's absolutely nothing to it. So I'll walk it back here. We'll set it up and set up our cable. connect the cable it's just simply slides in push it in ensure it's seated firmly and that's it boys and girls set the dish in the stand till it clicks aim it kind of towards the northern sky and that's the complex setup of the dish for Starlink now we just run our cable back to where we're going to have the router comes with a 75 foot proprietary Starlink cable that some people have altered, um, but for simplicity's sake, I just left it as is. So I run my cable back to here. In our particular RV, this is our router. It's a Wi-Fi broadcasting router. And on the bottom, there's one connection, and that's where our cable goes in. So anybody can plug it in. You, your mom, your grandma, your kids can all do this. So what I do is in our particular RV, we have a slot here that has a cover that's an opening from the outside to the inside. So I simply thread our cable through it plug it into the bottom of the Starlink router. Place the router up here on our little shelf. Plug it into our outlets we have here. And you'll see on the bottom there's a little blue light that comes on that indicates you have power. That's it. It is now set up. What will happen is at this point, our dish in just a few minutes will go flat as it starts searching for satellites up in the sky. Once it finds them, it'll angle itself and you will then have connectivity. That's it, boys and girls. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. And be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Bye, y'all.